Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. Both Josh and I have had a sore throat all weekend. All Just getting over it. But we have a super busy day today with a bunch of meetings, and so we are not taking a sick day. We're heading into the office, but first we have a breakfast meeting with somebody that owns a budgeting course business. So I think it'll be really cool to show them the app and get some feedback. And then we also need to clean this kitchen. We were sitting at our desk working and I was serving the web and I stumbled upon one of our competitors who was doing a crowdfunding round that just released their financials. We've never seen a small, like similar style bank's financial statements. Obviously we can look at like publicly traded companies, but there's like no information on the marketplace. So this was like massive for us to see. This is a gold mine. A gold mine of information, competitive information, information that informs our models right now. And so I grabbed Josh and I knew we had to go grab a meeting room. So we went across the whole building. It's like a super busy time. So there was no available meeting rooms. And now we ended up in the massage room because it's the only room in our office that's open. But we need to just like, both Josh and I need to look through all this data and process it, get real time reactions. So that's what we're doing. And if we're gonna be in the massage room for this meeting, I might as well use it. Okay, did you see how suspicious that was? Katie instantly jumped into the massage chair. I'm kind of starting to think she picked this room on purpose. What do you think in the comments? Comments. Anyone else think so too? That was cringe and I deserve this. That thing's for your feet. You're not supposed to put your shoes in that. Sometimes I do what I want. <laughs> it feels good still, so. Okay, let me tell you why this company specifically is such a big deal. Honestly, we, I would say, look up to them in a lot of ways. They launched a year or two before us and their team is like super legit. 25 employees at their company. They've raised millions and millions of dollars and they do something like pretty similar to us. It's definitely not exactly the same and there's a lot of big differences, but they're definitely the closest that we've seen from other like modern fintechs out there. So this is like a breakdown of their revenue. I'm just trying to figure out like what multiple that is. Cause it just says 7,000 right now, but this has got to be in like hundreds of thousands or millions per month, right? I think this is in multiples of, of a thousand. So I think they're making like $700,000 a month in revenue. We also found this presentation they made with like all the founders where they're walking through their numbers. We're just trying to digest everything. But from what I can see, it looks like they're making between six and $700,000 a month in revenue at a user base that's like obtainable for Josh and I to I capture, I feel like with our wait yeah. list, with all of the organic marketing and distribution that, that we have in place, like I think we could build something of this size like pretty quickly. So between like six hundred and seven hundred thousand dollars in monthly revenue, like That's what's the crazy. what's the run rate of that? It's not cheap to have a twenty five person tech company. Like that costs a ton of money to pay those employees month after month, and they've been doing this for years now. So how financial companies like us make money is through a thing called interchange. So every time someone swipes their card, Visa and Mastercard charge a merchant a like feeds like between one and two percent depending on the merchant and then we get a cut of that sent back to us so that's super cool but it's also really hard for us to predict and so getting this like level of granular insights is really helpful for us to like model out our potential revenue at different thresholds and volumes so yeah it looks like they're making between like seven and eight million dollars a year which is awesome I, I don't know why they're raising so much money <laughs> yeah. if they're making so much money but I mean this is super helpful and like hopeful for us I guess like how do you feel it just helps helps me not worry that like, yeah, we are on the right track and like this is a good business to be in, you know? Yeah, I think there's definitely a lot of similarities and differences. I think probably one of the biggest advantages that we have is that it doesn't look at any of their founding teams or developers. That's why probably why they have 25 employees is they had to yeah. like outsource all of the development and design and all of that, like all of their backgrounds seem to be in banking, which I think is a pro to us. Like I think we could scale to this volume with like a lower employee count. It just lets us know like we can do it too, I feel like okay i think this emergency summit is over but katie might be staying here i don't know i think this will help me get my voice back Katie wants to change to the other side of the table today. Any questions here about what the platform fee includes? This is what we, we came back to. 
Guys, it's after work today from a pretty awesome day. There's just one little problem. Uh, you see, after the high of a massage room business deep dive into like financials, I basically left and went and rewatched this company's presentation like three times, trying to figure out why they've been raising so much money when they're making so much money. It doesn't make any sense. Basically, I don't know how to put this, but everything <laughs> about this company's financials is like the complete opposite of what we thought. You see, normally when companies make these financial projection timelines and line charts and stuff, they'll put the scale in something like millions or thousands or hundreds of thousands. And that's what we thought the scale was on this chart here. But after re-watching the presentation over and over, this scale is in single digit dollars. This is not a joke. I ran this by Katie just barely. She went in the basement to process this news because it's bad. Here she is. What's going on? <laughs> Are you well, okay? All, you you just stormed of off all, down here. What's going on? I storm off, but first of all, I don't have a voice anymore. We've done like two business calls today and I'm so sick. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty intense news to find out. The sheet was not transparent at all. It had like 7.65. <laughs> we thought they were like trying to make it a little too simple. You know how like presentations get, they just wanted to make it look good or something like we didn't really understand what was going on they make at most seven thousand dollars per month the entire company to put that into perspective katie and i each at our jobs were making double that per month if one of us had just stayed part time at our jobs we would be making more than this entire 25 person company it's super bad i don't know i think that it is super eye-opening of like okay we are novices and naive in the space but at the same time you can see how they got to this point what we know about interchange revenue like they really only have you know 600 good users so can we without spending nine million dollars get 600 good users like i still believe that we can but i think it's pushing us to be a little bit more risk adverse than we were previously it's making us rethink our partner bank i know last episode we were like let's just go to the like most high risk one so that our revenue potential will be higher but I think we're rethinking that because our break-even point is much lower on like the more conservative partner. And I don't really know. I don't really know what to think or to say right now, but it's definitely- I don't think we even know what to think. Like we just need to process what's going on. Honestly, we're shocked. I just feel like sometimes you get information in the day-to-day -day life of a startup when your hopes and dreams are just shattered from like one detail you find out. And I feel like that's kind of what happened today I think we just need to process this and decide what to even make of it honestly we will see you guys next time <laughs>